All right, kids, today we're gonna to learn how to simplify expressions by combining like terms. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so, no, oh, well, what the heck happened there, but let's just, uh, we'll put those away for now. Okay, well, here we have parentheses. Am I allowed to simply get rid of these parentheses? Yes, because there's nothing going on out here. So I can get rid of those. Can I just simply erase those parentheses? No, you'll pay a stiff price, why? Because this, there's really a negative one out here that you got to distribute before you can eliminate those parentheses. If it was a plus sign, yes, you could. So let's take our time. Let's rewrite that. Now let's do Dorothy, somewhere over the rainbow, Dorothy and Toto, right? And then how about the Tin Man? So take this negative one and distribute. Negative 5x squared, see negative times five is negative five, negative times a negative is plus, oops, it's not a square, and then negative times a plus is negative two. Now we can combine like terms. So I think I invented this method of combining like terms. So I start to the far left. I see x squared, I got four of them here. I'm gonna put a circle around that. Do I see any other x squared? Do, do, oh, right here. I got negative five of them there. Now I have, six x's so i'm going to put a box around it and then i'm looking for other things with x's over right here put a box and then maybe i got a number with no letters so i'm going to put a little little cloud a little puff pastry around the number so maybe over here so now you can go get yourself a little drink or a snack and come back you don't have to start from scratch why i'm going to combine my circles four x squares take away five x squares, you guess it is negative one x squared. And now the boxes. I got six x's plus four more x's is 10 x's. And then the little cloud, negative three, I lost two more, I lost five. And that my friends is how you simplify expressions by combining like terms.